Hi, I'm Roland Tech, and uh, I'm here to talk to you a little bit about my course, uh, Talking Music, which I'll be teaching both online and in person at the uh, Mary Rogers Room for the Dramatists Guild Institute uh, this spring. I hope that you'll join me either online or in person. Um, the main thrust of the class, if I had to sort of put it in one sentence, is uh, to help writers who are non-musicians uh, uncover uh, the elements in music that are making them feel however they're feeling when they listen to a given piece of music. Um, so we will talk about rhythm and meter and harmony and melody um, and um, try to give you the tools that you need to better talk about it in a way that uh, a composer you might be collaborating with might understand, or even if you're interested in maybe trying your hand at writing your own tunes, this might be a good way to get your feet wet with kind of just learning how music is organized and um, kind of just some very basics of how it works. L let me just start. I'm just going to give you just a couple of examples to give you a little flavor for some things that I think are important for you to think about. And a happy new... Oh, what? You're going to leave it like that? Why do you suppose it's so unsatisfying? And a happy new year. We want that ending. We need that ending. Why is that? It's a very fundamental thing that's at play in music that's making us need that ending. And that's one of the things that we will talk about um, in the class. And you will learn to understand what's going on there. Uh, one more example, something that you all are, are probably familiar with. You'll tell me, I suppose. Most of my music students, <coughs> wherever I teach, the minute they hear that, they start singing. It's iconic. So if you were in class with me, you would, you would probably start singing. Try to remember a time of September when life was done. If you're like me, you'll mess up the words. Okay, so here's what I want to suggest to you. We hear something in the music uh, that uh, goes right to our unconscious, and we're not even, we don't have to be aware of it, but see, what I'm hoping in the class is that I will give you the tools to raise your awareness of what's going on. So, we have a very simple... Try to remember a kind of September when grass was green and grain was yellow. Okay, bum, bum, ba, da, da. So as you're listening to this music or singing it, you might notice that it's breaking down into where I'm snapping is sort of the natural lilt of the music, right? So it naturally feels like it's in these groups, yum, bum, 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 bum. And if we want to dig a little deeper into the rhythm of the music, we might notice that between my snaps, we're feeling a pulse. Yum, bum, 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 da, da, yum, da, da, yum, da. Okay, and then if we are really curious about the music, we might ask ourselves a question. How many ta ta tas does Roland do with each for each snap? Ta 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 ta
we have answered one of the most fundamental questions you will want to ask about any piece of music. What is that? The question is, what is the meter? Meter tells us how the music is grouped, how the beats of the music are grouped. In this case, we are in three, right? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so that's one element that's very important to recognize about the music. Uh, and then there are also others. There's the harmony, which I won't go into now, but the harmony um, also has an impact and how the harmony relates to the melody. All of these are things that we are going to touch on so that when you hear music, you will start to be better equipped to sort of recognize the different elements, pull them apart, and identify them for yourself. And in that way, you will better be able to understand what it is in a particular song that's making you feel elated, or sad, or anxious, or bored. <laughs> because one thing I want to say, essentially, Everything, the most important thing in our time together is your ears, trusting your ears. So, and that is why every class will begin with a group listening, where we will all listen to one piece of music together. And then immediately after listening to it, I will open it up for people to just respond emotionally, to talk about the music. And as you share with me, what it is you like or don't like or how the music affected you or what you remember or what you noticed, then we will begin to uncover those elements and those vocabulary words that musicians use to describe music. Because one thing I just want to make clear, and we will also, I will also do a quick review for those of you who had piano lessons when you were 10 and don't remember anything, or even if you've never seen a piece of music or tried to learn how to write on it. I will go over the staff. What does this do? This is a means of trying to uh, represent on the page the music that we hear. But here's a fundamental truth that I want to make clear. Um, Music notation is always an approximation. It is an attempt to convey to a musician who's looking at the music could be on the other side of the planet. It is an attempt to convey to them how the music should be made. But the music does not exist until it is given life by a performer, by a singer, by a pianist, by a violinist, by a whole orchestra, what have you. Very much in the same way that in the scripts you write, you know, many playwrights say, my script is my blueprint. The play doesn't live on the page. The play lives in performance. It lives when it, when it, it is breathed. Life is breathed into the play through actors, through their bodies and their voices and their psyches, right? So um, very much... Uh, there, there are things that we can write as playwrights. There are things that we can notate as composers. But there was, there's always a limit. And the actual art doesn't exist on the page. The page is just a tool for trying to recreate something that first was born in the head of a composer or a playwright or a lyricist or what have you. Anyway, I've gone on way too long. I hope that you will join me. Uh, I think that the deadline is fast approaching, so please do sign up and send me any questions if you have questions about the class. Okay, bye.